I happen to have one of those broken micro views from SparkFun uh, for the MicroView Kickstarter. Uh, here it is, if it'll focus right. And now I'm going to show you how to open one up and to reprogram it. I have it on the included breadboard. So to start out, you need like a, a, a tool that's not going to ruin it, like a nice flat-headed tool. Right now I'm sticking it under the bezel. Now the side of the bezel where the screen isn't, you can kind of see there's a darker piece of the bezel and I'm because I don't want to hit the screen with the tool. So then I kind of just pry it up softly and then it kind of just comes right out. It's not too bad. And then uh, this is the insides right here. You get the screen, the screen connector, and the boards underneath. Uh, and that's where you need to get two three pins. So you, you use your plastic tool again and you pop up the screen. It's pretty easy. You need to get at pins 11, 12, and 13 on the board. They're, uh, they're all vias. You can see them right there. There you go. So I'm pulling out my uh, soldering iron. I got this from SparkFun. It's, uh, it's a good travel iron because it has controllable temperature, but it's on the handle, so it still maintains its small size. This is actually my first time using it. So I'm adding a little uh, little solder to each of the vias before I put some jumper wires on. I got these jumpers from uh, Element 14 Newark. Come in handy. This is a, a male male jumper. I also have some male female jumpers that come in handy as well. So I just need to just get a dab of solder in each one to hold it in place. It doesn't need to be permanent, so it doesn't have to be a good joint. This joint I, I don't really like, so I gotta redo it. And I'm gonna cut away for a minute here. There's first there's the three wires soldered on. And I'm gonna cut away. Alright, coming back, everything's all hooked up. Uh, ISP, I actually have seven wires. You might only need six depending on your programmer. Power, ground, MISO, MOSI, S-clock, and reset. I have a, a seventh wire because my uh, AVR Dragon that I'm using doesn't have, it doesn't power the device, it has a sense line, so I had to add another line just to power it. And uh, I got this Dragon from Element 14 as well. I'll post a link to that in the, uh, the notes. It's a handy uh, programmer. It can also do X Megas, which is why I picked it up, versus the AVR ISP Mark II. I have my Tiny G controller for my CNC machine requires a, a Dragon or something that can do. I want to say it's... I don't remember what type of programming it is, but it's different. It's not standard ISP. So. In the Make article, they they used Arduino ID. Well, they used AVR Dude from the Arduino ID. I'm using at Mega Studio here, so I choose the Dragon. I choose that Mega 328P, which is inside there. Um, when doing ISP, there's also the option for high voltage parallel programming. I have never used that, so I hit Apply, so it knows what I'm talking to, and then I hit Read just to make sure I'm talking to the correct device. You might have to turn down your clock speed the first time. You don't need to do the fuses or lock bits, those are already set. You just need to download the hex file, um, choose it from the flash, and then hit program. And that's really about it. Um, you can unsolder your wires and put it back together. You should have a working microview now.